2022 will be a big year for the Zumwalt class destroyer program, as first-in-class Zumwalt and sister ship Michael Monsoor continue finding their place in the fleet and perhaps make a debut at a major naval exercise, the head of the surface navy told reporters today. Vice Administration Roy Kitchener, the commander of Naval Surface Forces, said at the Pentagon that the surface fleet was already bringing in some new technology for high-end warfare and would see several significant additions in the coming years, most notably the Zumwalt DDG's fielding hypersonic missiles, and that his force was working hard already to pave the way for fleet introduction of all the new warfighting assets. Specifically on the DDG-1000s, he said Surface Development Squadron 1, Surf Devron, had already done some work on the ship's tactics, but that over the next year the Navy needed to start getting some employment out of that ship, getting it out on an exercise probably next year. The German military has awarded Rheinmetall a potential 178 million euro, 210 million dollars, contract to supply 130,000 laser light modules to enhance soldiers' night fighting capability. Initially, 2,460 devices worth a total of 3 million euro, 3.5 million dollars, will be delivered to the Bundeswehr, German Armed Forces, within seven years, the Dusseldorf-based defense firm stated. The delivery will begin this year, starting with an initial batch of 360 devices. The device can be mounted on all Bundeswehr assault rifles, submachine guns, machine guns, and sniper rifles through a standard attachment. The German Armed Forces has selected Rheinmetall's latest generation LLM Very Array Laser Light Module, intended to be used by infantry soldiers for detecting, identifying and marking targets. The Russian aircraft manufacturer unveiled a cutting-edge unmanned aerial vehicle, the Zolov Toll, at the MAX 2021 International Aviation and Space Salon. The drone monitors and takes aerial photos of areas difficult to reach by ordinary military vehicles. It is also capable of creating photographic maps to secure armed forces ground facilities. The company, Zala Aero Group, explained that the electric propulsion system in the new craft allows the vehicle to stay in the air for four hours and travel at a maximum range of 200 kilometers, 124 miles. The Zalov Toll combines the properties of an airplane-type drone and a tilt-rotor aircraft. The flight configuration changes depending on the assigned mission, Zala Aero Group remarked. In addition to the Zolov Toll Russia has unveiled the Boz 200 small rotary wing drone equipped with a mobile control post mounted on a car trailer. It monitors terrain and delivers cargo of up to 50 kilograms, 110 pounds. A 195 million pound contract for a further 13 protector uncrewed aircraft has been signed, bringing the total to 16. Defense Minister Jeremy Quinn announced the new contract during a visit to GKN Aerospace, GKNA, who are manufacturing key parts of aircraft on the Isle of Wight. Its ability to fly consistently for up to 40 hours will offer the RAF vastly improved armed intelligence and reconnaissance sorties. The innovative fleet will also have advanced anti-icing and lightning protection, providing the RAF with unprecedented flexibility to operate in extreme weather conditions. Protector also comes with enhanced data links and will carry next-generation, low-collateral, precision strike weapons, the UK-made Brimstone Missile, MBDA, and Paveway IV laser-guided bomb, Raytheon UK. Tracking a 2 meters drone across the horizon traveling around 220 kmph, gunner Bradley King fired a bolide missile towards the target, several kilometers away. With the proximity warhead enabled, the missile exploded within meters of the small target, but failed to destroy the drone, which continued its flight for the next fire. After a nearby Patriot missile demonstration by the U.S. Army's 38th Air Defense Artillery Brigade, it was the 16th Regiment, Royal Australian Artillery's, 16 Regged, RAW, turn to showcase its anti-air capability at Exercise Talisman Sabre, the RBS-70 short-range anti-aircraft missile. During the live fire activity, Gunner King and four others were responsible for keeping the target within the laser corridor, which guided the missile into impact, according to 16 Regged, RAW. 110th Battery Sergeant Major, Warrant Officer Class, W02, 2 Dean Smith.